Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you quickly how to modify the velocity values for vehicles in the B-Dubs vehicle mod pack for 7 days to die. The same concepts can be applied to vanilla. All you'd have to do is come 7 days to die, you come to data, config, and then you want to find the vehicles file down here. But for this example, we're going to show you how to modify the B-Dubs vehicle mod. So come to your B-Dubs vehicle mod folder, come to config, then you want to find your vehicles.xaml file. Go ahead and open this up. You can either open it up with Notepad or you can open it up in the uh, Visual Studio software. So I click open. For this example, I'll just use Notepad. So it's what most of you guys will be using. So first of all, you can identify the vehicle that you want to be updating. Let's say we want to update, actually we'll just use the truck, the box truck here. So these are all the properties for the box truck. However, we want to update the speed values. In order to update the speed values, you just simply want to find velocity max. And if you want to find a different vehicle or variable, you can always just control F and search for it. Since we're using box truck, we'll just search for that. It's not what we wanted. It's up at the top here either way. So once you find the vehicle you want to use, come here to your velocity, and you just want to modify these values to your liking. I wouldn't go over, I'd say 30, just because when you go over 25 to 30, you might have issues with rendering different chunks or different blocks. So for performance sake, I would keep it under 30 but it's up to you and what your performance can handle. So this first value indicates the value or the velocity value when you're not pressing shift or when you're not using the turbo. So seven, for example, or 10 here, for example, would be your default speed when you're not holding down shift. The 12 represents when you are holding down shift. So if you wanna double it, simply 24 and 20, or you could even do 10 and 24. It's completely up to you. Let's say we do 12 and 24. That's all you have to do. You would click file, save. And now when you launch seven days to die, you should notice a marginal increase in speed for the vehicle at hand. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I hope you guys have a good day.